the nuns, folks, folks, whatever. I'm tired of this fucking language gap between us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm delirious. <laughs> an extra long show while we try and pan for fucking comedy gold, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. The Warren Commission. I talk about Kennedy a little bit because I'm fascinated by the Kennedy case. I really am. I'm fascinated that you can uh, lie to so many people and have so many people believe it. I just think that's intriguing, you know? A lot of people go, Bill, quit talking about Kennedy, man. It's over. It's in the past, man. It's a long time ago. Just quit talking about it. And I'm like, all right, then don't bring up Jesus to me, you know? Uh, as long as we're talking shelf life here, you know. Is that lamb still? Or is it me? But I've heard some incredible theories about Kennedy assassination since that movie JFK came out. Here's the weirdest one. Y'all see JFK first of all? Five of you. Great. Uh, how many of y'all saw Turner and Hooch? <laughs> we watch it every day. Thank you, Lisa. Down. We have all the dialogue memorized. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, incredible theories about who shot Kennedy. Here's the most intriguing one. Pretty odd, but I've had several people tell me, you know who shot Kennedy? The Secret Service man in the front seat of the limousine. <laughs> Sounds ludicrous, but think about it. Every time you've ever seen that Zabruder film, have you ever looked at the Secret Service man in the front seat of that limo? You can't recall what he looks like, can you? You never fucking looked at it. It's the ultimate magic trick of misdirection. <laughs> like most people, when I see this Zabruder film, I'm looking, you know, at Jackie's ass when she gets on the trunk of that car. Get out! Reach for that brain, baby. God damn it. Hey. It's dead. Life goes on. You know, sorry. So it was a tragedy. Look at that little pink fucking ass. God damn it. Uh, thank you. Uh, little pink fucking ass. Thank you very much. I am from the U.S. in case you didn't know that. Now, I know who shot Clinton who killed Kennedy. It was Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Yeah. Even says in her diary, yesterday I blew John's brains out. <laughs> A written confession. <laughs> Does Time Magazine pick up on this? No. It's where this show's going to take off in a minute. As soon as I wake up, I'm going to fly right out of here. Fuck Heathrow, fuck Gatwick. We're the new airport right here. Little runway, little comedy runway here. Well, you're doing your best to impersonate London smog, aren't you? You will not take off. There's a low cloud over you, Bill. So I read in the paper that scientists have concluded that London smog is caused by the cars. <laughs> they got good check for that fucking conclusion. Cars are causing the smog. Cars are. I thought it was those fucking tea kettles, but no. <laughs> Cars, apparently, somehow burning fuel emits something. Scientists are working on it. And we'll get back to you with an update as soon as we figure this shit out. Of course, it's different than in L.A. where the smog is caused by gunpowder. <laughs> Subtle, yeah. We used to have car smog yeah, years ago. The good old days. Now, now, that's artillery. I believe that's fucking artillery. That's what I love about being in the UK, man. I mean, I really, I really love it here. And it's so, I'm sorry to say this, and don't take this wrong, but it's so fucking quaint. And it really is. I, no, I know, I know, but no. I know, get it out, get it out. I know, there was no sock 
soccer game today, there was no riot. Get out your little angst. <laughs> You know, but I had, during the riots, I'm, you know, I'm sitting there trying to watch the fucking riot, you know, and people go, no, we have crime kids here, this is terrible. You, fuck you, you have nothing like our crime. This is Hobbiton and I'm Bilbo Hicks, all right? You know, your kind of crime is like, ooh, some hooligans knocked over a dustbin. Ooh, what would I do with them hooligans, you know? Same as child with bazooka, beheads teacher. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's all. And don't take that wrong. It's admirable. I salute you. But it was funny even reading the newspaper here accounts of the L.A. riots because it was like, you know, that one guy, that truck driver who got pulled out of his fucking truck, beaten. I read the paper account here. A lorry driver had a dustbin thrown through his wind pane. <laughs> Bet that smarted. Not the same as his head was caved in. But I like it here for that reason. No guns. That's very relaxing to me, I'm telling you now, because um, you know how the state, you know how we are about guns. And uh, I heard last year y'all had 14 deaths from handguns. 14. Probably American tourists. <laughs> yeah. You call this a sandwich? There's nothing on the bread. That's what we eat here. It's a sandwich. That's bread. I want ice in my fucking drink. We don't drink ice. We don't use it. You don't boil pizza. Probably starving fucking Americans here. I don't want any more chips. We eat them all the time. I know. I love fries. Don't get me wrong. But every fucking meal. Come on. Everything comes with chips. I saw hookers on London streets going, Head and chips! <laughs> and you may think you've gotten a good head before, but unless you've had it with a big hot pipe and plate of chips in front of you. United States, I think you know how we feel about guns. I'm getting a warm, tingly feeling. <laughs> Just saying the word. 23,000 deaths from handguns last year. <laughs> Let's go through the numbers again. They're a little baffling at first glance. UK, no handguns, 14 deaths. US, I think you know how we feel about them. I'm getting a snippy. <laughs> 23,000 deaths from handguns. But there's no connection. <laughs> You'd be a fool and a communist to make one. <laughs> there is no connection. No connection at all between having a gun and shooting someone with it and not having a gun and not shooting someone. I know, some of you fucking liberals think there's a connection, don't you? Communist? You know. Man, if I fall asleep, wake me up and let me finish the show. I'm really sorry. Night 20, I don't know where the fuck I am, but it's very pleasant. Don't get me wrong. I at least know, know how bad, no matter how bad the show is, I won't be shocked. I might have some hooligans hit me with a dustbin, but uh, 